Hello, my name is Manik Raj Maharshan and in this video I will, I will be talking about human factors. Out of all the individuals who lost their lives due to a fatal vehicle crash in 2016, 48% of them were not wearing seatbelts. Hence, uh, not wearing seatbelts could have contributed to the fatality and uh, drivers and passengers are mandated to wear seatbelts and vehicles are designed to alert them if they don't have their seatbelts fastened. However, most of the vehicles are not designed to alert the riders of the backseat passengers uh, if they're wearing their seatbelts or not. If a vehicle was to be involved in a crash where, um, in a high-speed crash, when the backseat passenger is not wearing or forgot to wear a seatbelt, they can move around the vehicle during the crash and smash into other passengers of the vehicles which could lead to serious injury or even a fatality so that is a vehicle characteristics relating to human factors now let's move on to a video of me driving in main Kato and point out other human factors that might contribute to a crash now almost immediately can see a huge pile of snow to my right obstructing the view uh, of cars coming out onto my path so I had to be extra careful while driving and on top of that since it had been raining and the snow on the ground was melting it created extra slippery driving conditions even worse on parking lots where snow had not been removed properly and had been accumulating on the ground now as I try to pull out of the parking lot on the road Again, there are two snow piles obstructing my view of the traffic on the road, so I had to creep up a little bit to see ahead. Since the approach had a downward slope going onto the road, I did not want it to creep up too far. I had to wait a little bit longer as I thought there was a car approaching again due to the slope I refrained going far too ahead after determining that the road was clear and there was no car coming I make my right turn uh, the time to get out of the parking lot may have been longer as the environment and condition of the road required me as a driver to be extra careful the time would have been shorter if the weather and the condition of the road and the parking lot was different so here we can relate the environment factor with human factors after um, as the melting snow and the rain created a slippery condition to drive on most people tend to go slower speeds or exactly the speed limit of the road like for example here I'm going the speed limit of the road However, there are still some drivers who, regardless of the condition, tend to go at a higher speed, causing a hazardous condition for themselves and for the other road users, like uh, like this white car that just passed me and hit his brakes multiple times on the left lane. And. Uh, the rain had caused the lane markings to be less visible and it had a low wet reflectivity maybe due to them being very old and not maintained well here we can see the lane markings are barely visible even on the camera so even though technically there is pavement markings people might not be able to see them properly during conditions such as the rain and visibility as it differs from person to person and drivers have limited limitations due to their physical and mental attributes such as hearing skills uh, experience emotional state and perception and reaction ability or simply because they just forget like uh, for example here is a driver who has their left turn 
even though they're going right. Uh, incorrect signaling by drivers will cause confusion to other drivers and may even result in a crash. The decision-making process of a driver while driving is a big factor which determines road safety. A driver could have a slow or a fast reaction time um, which depends on whether he is paying full attention to the road or not. What? For example, here we have a driver on the right turn lane who made his signal and ch changed his lane early and a white car who just made a change to the uh, right lane, right turn lane right before the intersection. Now the engineers had the right turn lane properly marked and put on the road but one car changed lanes earlier than the other. I'm pretty sure both cars knew where they had to be going and knew they had to make the right turn. But this illustrates the difference in decision making process of the drivers on the road and in extreme cases such as uh, during high tr uh, higher congestion, this difference might lead to a crash. Now, perception and reaction time differs from person to person. Uh, in this example, I noticed a large vehicle on the opposite lane was swerving onto my lane and I see the car in front of me abruptly change lanes. So I react to the perception and change my lanes after checking it was safe to do so. The entire reaction time from me noticing the large vehicle, checking my blind spots and changing the lanes took approximately 2 seconds. Factors such as rain also contributed to the driver reaction time to my reaction time on the road. The weather also plays a vital role in perception, reaction, and decision making process. In this example, I had been maintaining a safe distance uh, between my car and the truck in front of me as the downpour was quite heavy, but another car suddenly made their left turn and came between the safe distance that I had been maintaining. It could have been due to the snow pile and the downpour, they might not have seen me. Had this been a congested and high speed situation, I might not have gotten enough braking distance to come to a safe stop without rear ending the vehicle. Now, talking about other human factors that affects road safety, Um, we have selfishness, the driver's selfishness, uh, just as we saw in the previous example, uh, drivers moving in front of grab gaps, other drivers left for their safety uh, might cause a hazardous situation and also cause uh, shock waves leading to, tr uh, leading to long uh, traffic jams. Inattentiveness. Uh, inattentive drivers caught using their cell phones while driving is a huge problem, especially among teens. Rubbernecking. Humans have a naturally cu curious behavior, which might be a problem when driving and trying to see the accident that happened on the other lane. You have cop cars. Uh, people tend to be more alert when they see a cop car, but some may panic when they suddenly see a cop car on the road. Uh, you have pedestrians walking on the road, pedestrians walking on the road, and multiple dis uh, and uh, multiple sight distractions on the line of sight, like back-to-back uh, -back signal heads and huge colorful billboards, also distract drivers from their roads. So, those are some human factors that affects road safety. Thank you.